Alright, hi guys. So today I'm going to show you how to install NetHunter 2.0 to your Nexus 5 device. Uh, first of all you have to know that it will erase all of your data on your phone, so you should make a backup of your files. So let's get right into it. So first of all go to Google and type in VUG root Nexus Toolkit. Press the first link, scroll down and download. Okay, now that you have downloaded it, run it. Ok, so now what you do is you go to your phone and we have to enable USB debugging go to settings, scroll down, press about phone and press build number 7 times so you become a developer go to developer options and here you see USB debugging and press this and ok, now it's enabled and now we go back to desktop, we have to select the device we have. We currently have Nexus 5 from LG and Android build. Mine is Hammerhead 5.11 LMY48M. Uh, the build you can check on your phone here. The same in settings. Go down about phone and you can see your build number that's and also the android version so that's how you know what to choose and now we'll press apply um, now let's connect our phone to our computer and press allow ok press ok here uh, here have to download plus update all file dependencies Now, uh, first of all we have to unlock bootloader, just press here, unlock, so we go OK, just press yes, and your phone should start in bootloader. Now we have to use volume up key to choose yes, unlock bootloader and press power button. And now the phone should reboot. and it usually takes some time probably usually about 5 to 10 minutes Now the bootloader is unlocked and it's all factory reset. Now I'm just gonna skip through this.
Ok, now we have to enable USB debugging again. So about phone again, build number 7 times. Developer options and enable USB debugging. Press OK. Now we go to our desktop again and we press root. And just press OK. Now you have to type in your PIN code. It will reboot your device. If your SIM card is secured with a PIN code you will have to put it in and just grant access to this. Ok, now what we have to do is connect to internet. I'm going to use a wireless connection. Ok, now we have to open BusyBox free and grant access. Let's close this up. Uh, if this says bin, you must choose xbin and press install. And it was successful. And that's all you have to do. Now your device is rooted. Okay, so now what you have to do is either use your phone or your PC to open up Google and type in NetHunter, press Kali Linux NetHunter, scroll down and you'll see download Kali Linux NetHunter. Okay, now scroll down and you'll see a lot of download options. Uh, I am currently running Lollipop on my Nexus 5, so I press download here. Uh, it's currently not supported for Marshmallow, but you can always uh, downgrade your Marshmallow to Lollipop and just use this download link. Now I already have this downloaded and it's right here. I am going to copy this. and paste it in here. Uh, before you do that you must disable USB debugging. Ok, so now we copy this. And we just paste it in here. Alright, now we can close this. Now we need to download TWRP. Go to Play Store and download TWRP Manager and click the first one which says root and press install okay and now you open it you choose the device name it had to be connected to the internet. It was device name. 
Mine is Nexus 5 Hammerhead. And press recovery version to install and choose the newest one. And select install recovery. Just press yes. Grant permission. Now we power off our phone. And now hold volume down and power button to go into to recovery mode. Choose recovery mode, press volume, press power on button. And now select install. And now you must find Kali Linux Net Hunter. It is usually in downloads if you have downloaded it uh, from your phone or at the bottom here if you have just pasted it in from your PC to the internal storage and swipe to confirm flash and this will install Kali Linux NetHunter 2.0 to your phone and it can take quite a while so just be patient for it to stop okay so now it has finished, swipe to unlock and press reboot system. This step will also take some time. Okay, so now if you have a dark pin, just type it in. And now you've got NetHunter 2.0 uploaded on your phone.